take your eyes off of this body. If you like what you see, take your hands and grab it. Hurry, hurry. What's up y'all? Welcome back to another video. It's Lydia. Thanks for tuning in and if you're new here be sure to subscribe I would love you if you do and hit that bell button too to be a part of the notification crew And y'all know the drill if you part of the notification squad comment down below Let me know so I can show you all the love Oh and I completely forgot to mention in the beginning be sure to stick around to the end of this video because I'm doing a little Surprise giveaway so you can find out all the details on how to enter then um, but for today's video if you could tell by the title I'm going to be doing Doing a much needed product decluttering organization um do you guys see right here this is like the little shelf where um, when I'm filming you guys see it right here the little subscribe thing the flowers whatever and then this whole thing is a shelf with like hair products um and granted this isn't even all of the hair products that I have um and as you, as you guys see it's not organized at all um and in fact I actually in my bathroom underneath my sink I have some hair products underneath there too and essentially I just I have hair products everywhere and they really need to be organized so that way when I want to go and grab and find something I can easily see it out so essentially what my plan is is that I want to kind of organize my products by like product line and maybe even by like kind of products but you know what I don't know but let me just show you guys real quick um, what the products underneath my sink look like because y'all it's embarrassing it's like my whole organization like this is not this is not no it's a mess um so let's go take a little trip to my bathroom to see how bad it really is if we look underneath my sink it's dirty it's a mess please don't judge me um but yeah I have products kind of everywhere I have a couple skincare products in there but a majority of it is just straight up hair products so essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab all of them um, bring them in to where my little shelf is and then try to basically organize it all Okay, and just to give you guys a quick little look, this is all of the hair products that I will be taking in to that other room. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh my God, I cannot wait to wipe all that over there. That's so gross. I'm so sorry, guys. This is so embarrassing. Oh my God. Strip for me. Don't fight it. Strip. What are you hiding? So I switched up the camera angle a little bit just so you guys can see better as I'm like decluttering and reorganizing things. And as I was bringing stuff out into this um, shelf, I kind of noticed there were some products that I don't really use that often, if not at all. And they're probably going to end up going into my little donate slash getting rid of pile. And I'll share with you guys what products those are. Um, but yeah, as of right now, I think I'm just going to go ahead and kind of take out the products that are within the same brand and that's how I'm gonna organize them on my shelf. Hopefully these will all fit and you guys know pretty much all of these products, 99.999% of these products, except for like the Weed Dad products, I bought for myself. Weed Dad was nice enough to like send me these products but everything else I've purchased and bought for myself Brands don't really send me products that much and that's perfectly fine because you know, I'm a product junkie I buy products all the time and even if they were to send me products I probably still go out and be in Target every other day buying products, but that's just me enough of my rambling Let's go ahead and kind of pick out the products that are all within the same line and then figure out how I want to organize them from there Let's do Shea Moisture's low porosity leave-in Super fruit hair mask. So I have this. Definitely gonna keep all these three um, right down here. I have the protein free conditioner. Definitely gonna keep that. And then I have the frizz taming smoothie from the super fruit collection within Shea Moisture. This is one of the products that I will be getting rid of um, just because when I bought it, I thought it was a hair mask. And then I figured when I bought it, I would try it out. And I really didn't like it that. I really didn't like it that much. And it turns out this expired December fourteenth, twenty seventeen. Um, so yeah, this is gonna go in the trash, unfortunately. But yeah, so I didn't really care for this product. To be honest, I don't even see it that often in stores. I don't know if it's still a part of the line or if they discontinued it. But yeah, to be honest, I really didn't like this frizz taming smoothie that much. Ooh, guys, I'm seeing, I'm so indecisive. So all of this organization, I'm really liking how it's looking, but now I'm noticing that there's other products with this in this little, like, okay, so as of right now, I'm really liking how this is looking, and a part of me really wants to move this up one shelf. I'm so indecisive. Um, I really can't decide, but it's mostly because I have some products like these, like my Mixed Chicks leave-in. I used to get them in bulk in the really big size, um, and I really don't want them up here. I'd rather have them down here on the bottom shelf. So I I think I'm gonna go ahead real quick and move everything from this shelf up here. Okay, so I like that up here a lot better. Um, now in terms of this bottom shelf, the products that I'm probably gonna put are gonna be 
my big old mixed chicks leave in so they're gonna go right down here and i'll put my obia naturals curl hydration spray down here just because this is the only obia product that i have so i'll probably put this down here i don't know where my oyan refresher spray is i think my mom might have taken it. it might be in her curly hair collection but i'm gonna just let her have it in there for now um and i'll put my curls curl control jelly down here because that's the only curls product that i have um what else we'll go ahead and take my maui moisture stuff i think i only these are my only two maui moisture stuff and for those of you guys who are wondering i know a lot of you guys have asked for me to review maui moisture stuff but i've actually tried them well before i started filming regularly for you guys um and i honestly don't care for their styling products that much their little smoothie didn't work for me but i really do like their deep conditioners their deep conditioners work great so that's just a little note that I'd like to give you guys. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the Not Your Mother's Curl Defining Conditioner. I have the shampoo in my shower now. Um, I might as well just do like a shower collection for you guys because I have so many wash day products in my shower. It's ridiculous. Um, but I'm gonna put this down here just because I returned the combing cream from this line just because I hated it. And um, the conditioner and the shampoo were really good, but I've been using the shampoo too and I really like it. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead though and put this conditioner down here. Here. um now i feel like i'm running out of space but it's okay we're gonna make it work don't worry we're gonna make it work okay so sorry if the lighting quality audio whatever switched up i switched from using my vlogging camera to my main camera because my vlogging camera died and i can't find the charger and this is my next best thing um so where were we now let's see what products did i want to put down here next oh i'm gonna go put my trader joe's conditioner down there i'll put what else I think I'm gonna put, oh, my Frizz Ease gel. This will go down here as well. Um, and then I have this little tiny Olaplex hair perfecter. I bought this a while ago so I can do a review on it, but um, my hair, I feel like it may not need this right now. So I'm gonna hold off and maybe do a little review on this later. But this little bad boy right here is super tiny and it was like almost $30. So best believe I'm definitely gonna be using this at one point, just I don't know what point that'll be. So I'm kind of thinking about it and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and speed through me organizing this top shelf um, and I may like switch some stuff around on these bottom shelves right here um, just because I feel like I've been talking forever and I don't want this video to be like 900 years long. So let me go ahead, speed through this part and then I'll check in with you guys once um, I'm all done and I'll explain kind of my thought process for each shelf. I want you, 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 strip all day. We can see it all down here all of these products and then as we get to the second shelf we can see all of my shea moisture texture id as i am kinky curly and then in the right hand corner if you guys can see right there i just have my miel organics and sultanicals gel slash jellies just because i figured they're both pumps and they both can kind of just live in that corner so as we see right here we have all of my eden body work stuff on the top shelf um and then we have main choice talia wajid um jane carter and then camille rose and then I have these products right up here that I couldn't really find a home for. They're kind of like my go-to favorite products at the moment in terms of setting and refreshing my hair. So we have my Gabrielle Union Shine Spray. We have my Design Essentials um, Setting Slash Shine Spray. And then we have my Alakay Naturals Refresher Spray and my Bounce Curl Hair Spray. I really like it because it really does give a good enough hold and really helps my hair in the humidity. I'm not even gonna front, I really like it. I think these two products are pretty comparable, um, but they are different in their own way as well. And yeah, that pretty much wraps up my curly hair decluttering, reorganizing. Um, you guys have a pretty good insight in terms of what I have in terms of my curly hair product stash. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and it kind of inspired you to maybe reorganize your curly hair collection, but I really wanted to do a giveaway for this video. And essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick 
one of these products at random and send it to one of you all. Obviously, it's not going to be the product that I've used, but I'm going to buy a new one um, and then send it to you guys, and it's going to be a total surprise. So if you guys are cool with it being a total surprise, um, be sure to follow the details on how to enter right now. I'll explain it. So all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and then comment down below the best way to reach you. Is it through Twitter? If it's through Twitter, leave your Twitter handle and you have to be following me on Twitter. And if it's through Instagram, leave your Instagram handle and you obviously have to be following me on Instagram. Um, and if it's email, put your email because I know some of you guys don't have social media, so I want it to be fair. And this giveaway will not be international. It'll only be domestic. I'm so sorry. Maybe in the future, I will definitely try to do an international giveaway, but for now, this will be a domestic giveaway. Um, but yeah, so if you guys are interested in maybe getting a little surprise, you know, giveaway prize, um, be sure to enter down below. Just don't forget, subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and then comment down below the best way to reach you. Twitter, Instagram, email, let me know down below. If it's either Twitter or Instagram, you just have to be following me. And yeah, those are basically all the details on how to enter. They're pretty straightforward. I hope you guys are excited for it. I know I am. Um, best of luck to everybody. Um, and I think for the comment of the day, in terms of this video, I'm gonna make it giveaway, just because I'm doing a giveaway for this video. Why not? Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you wanna be entered, and don't forget to subscribe. I will love you if you do. I won't hate you if you don't, but I will love you if you do. But I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.